Hello, hello, welcome. It's Barak Mulatric and welcome to another video in this series. Uh, this time we're in After Effects for a Change. And this time we're going to talk about the anchor points. And how to edit them, how to work with them, and I'll show you a really cool uh, technique as well. Okay. So I've got this uh, comps here, I've got this composition here with the sky in the background, which I'm going to lock. And so I've got this uh, balloon here. If I drop it there, it's really big. So let me just scale it down. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and make it smaller so it fits into our composition, say here. Let me just zoom back in here. All objects that you work with inside After Effects have these anchor points, this point in here. And the anchor point is being used when you scale an object like this, for example, okay, or when you rotate it, so grab a rotation tool, oops, it's going to rotate along this center. So for example, let's say I want to animate this balloon and I want it to swivel in the air as if it's a windy day, for example. So I want to swivel left and right, left and right, okay? So on the balloon layer, I'm going to press R for rotation, set a keyframe for rotation, okay? But I want it to swivel, so I need to move the anchor point, okay? And we have a tool for that, the anchor point tool, which is this guy here, or the letter Y on a keyboard. So if press Y, you can then move the anchor point where you want it. So I'm going to start moving it. I'll hold the shift key to make it move straight. So if I go left and right, it doesn't do anything. Just go straight to the top in here. So I'm holding shift key on the keyboard. Okay, and release the mouse button and release the shift key. Next. So now if I switch back to rotation tool, the W on the keyboard, we can rotate it like this. We can make it swivel like this, like that. Okay, so say if I go this way to start with, and then a second later, I'm going to go the other side. And then again at two seconds, I'll go this way. And at three seconds, I'll go that way. And just so you can see what we're trying to do here, if I press Shift P for position, and it's a keyframe for the position at the beginning. Initially, I'll put it off the screen. Okay. And then at three seconds here, I'll make it move across the screen. So let's say we get something like this. But it's all about the anchor points here. Okay. Let me show you one more example with the anchor points. I've got another comp here called speedometer, okay? And we've got this needle on a separate layer, this one there, which we're going to animate to make it rotate, to show how, say, the download speed in this case changes. So we need to move the anchor point again. So I'm going to press Y for the anchor point tool. Let me just zoom in a bit closer. And we need to move the anchor point right in here, in this case. I'll say somewhere there, okay? So if I zoom out, if I grab the rotation tool, it's going to rotate like this. Perfect. So now I could just set it to minimum, or with the layer selected, press R for rotation, set a keyframe, uh, let's say at less than a second, or rotate it, say there. So it's going to do this. <coughs> And of course, if we want it to look like it's really changing the speed, changing the download, what we could do is after this keyframe, I can put another one and take it down a bit. Then another one, say here. Then I could just copy these keyframes. I don't have to do them again. Then just copy and then paste and then paste again. So I get something like this. Get an animation here with this uh, speedometer moving up and down. So 
So that's how you can move the anchor points, customize them in here. I do have a cool technique for you as well. I want to leave you with a cool keyboard shortcut. So let's say we have an object. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to add a shape here. So I'm going to deselect all the layers. So there are no layers here. And actually go back there. With no layers selected, I'll draw a shape. Maybe a rectangle with rounded corners. And I'll put it here. At the bottom. And with the move tool, I'll just move it so it's right there. Let's just actually align it. Now, let's say I need to resize this shape. I want to make it bigger or smaller. So if I grab one of the corners with selection tool and start resizes, so this is just fine. Okay. Now let's rotate it. Rotation tool. Let's rotate it. Now it's doing this. However, normally it won't be doing it. Okay. Because see, normally by default, your shapes will have the anchor points set in the center of the composition. Let me show you something. If I go to the preferences in here, okay, the center anchor point in new shape layers. Now this normally is not selected. So the anchor point is in the center of the comp, not in the center of the shape. Okay. So what if you want to move the anchor point? What well, is a couple of things you can do? So if I go cancel, I'll switch back to selection tool and I'll keep the layer selected. So you can see my anchor point clearly. This is my anchor point there. Go. If you don't see it, just deselect your shape, select it again. There's the anchor point here. It's in the center of the comp. That's all always happens with shapes. With images, videos, the anchor point is always in the center of the image, in the center of the video. With the shapes, it's always in the center of the comp. So you need to move it. So you could uh, move it with the anchor point tool. That's one solution, which we looked at earlier. But then, how to get it right in the center? Okay. So, as I showed you earlier, what you may want to do is you may want to set your preferences. You may want to tick this box to always make it centered in your shape layers. As I mentioned, this is not ticked by default. So this will be your default, your new default. Alternatively, there are a couple more options. If we want this anchor point to be right in the center of this shape, there is an easy way of doing it. Actually, two one, two or two of them. Here's one. With the layer selected, with the shape selected, layer menu, transform, and center anchor point in layer content. Beautiful. It's right in the center. Okay. But there is a better one. Let me just undo the last step. Control Z, Command Z on the Mac. Here's a cool trick. Are you ready? <laughs> when you have your anchor point tool, we're going to hold Control Q on Windows, Command Q on the Mac, and we'll double click on this icon. And this will, voila, this will center the anchor point in the center of your shape, just like that. So Control Q on Windows, Command Q on the Mac, and double click on the anchor point tool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short must uh, anchor point, <laughs> anchor points in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Bologic, and please subscribe. To, uh, subscribe if you haven't already uh, at the bottom. And thank you for watching, and see you shortly on another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.